got to love the mango tree that's the message which africa gave to the world today here at the durban climate change conference what they're basically stating is that if you have to curb carbon emissions you will have to stand by the kyoto protocol now the day got off to a rocky start with the with the European Union accusing India of being a deal breaker. Now I spoke to Sunita Narayan earlier in the day to find out why is India being perceived by the international community as a deal breaker. The press in the morning said that the EU has a new draft, yes. that the draft has been proposed and that the only country in the world which is holding it up is India. Right. The fact of the matter is there is no draft, <laughs> there is no roadmap. So the Western media is very clearly playing a role to put forward the point of view of their governments. Now, every country in the South, in every press conference through the day here at Durban, has made it clear that they stand by the Kyoto Protocol. We've just heard the Chinese delegation. They said that they will not sign on any new treaty. They stand by the old treaty. And what they basically want is a second commitment period to the Kyoto Protocol. But the Americans do not agree with this. There is clear deadlock, which the Americans have stated in the press conference here today. Now the question really is who's going to blink first, the developed or the developing countries and in the days to come will the developed world be able to divide the developing countries or not?